Hello, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to make the camera as a default when we play. And also we will see how to create the screenshot. So now what the thing is, uh, whenever we click on this play, now the game is going to start from the point where you are here. But what I want is I want to start the game uh, from the camera position. That means like, see, now whenever we click on this play, now it has to start from this camera view. So in order to do that, uh, we need to go to this blueprint option. So if you click on this and we need to click on this open level blueprint. So now after clicking on this, you can see there is a node call event begin play. It means that we need to create an event uh, what it has to show when we start playing the game here. When we click on this play, we have to define the event what it has to do. And now what we need to do is we have to drag this and we have to search for a node called set view target with blend here you can see and sometimes you will not able to see this uh, option because say if you enable this context sensitive so whatever the node you are going to search you will not able to find it so in order to find you can you have to disable this option like context sensitive so click on this and now we have to click on this node now it has been created and it has been connected automatically. So now here next what we need to do is we need to connect the camera which we have created in the scene here. So you can see there is an option like new view target. What it means like uh, we need to connect the camera so that when we start the game it will start from this viewpoint here. So in order to do that uh, simple uh, just we need to select the camera here in the scene. And now again come to this blueprint. And now if you right click here and make sure you uh, enable this thing and here you can see there is an option called create reference sign camera actor here. So just you need to click on this and now we need to connect this to new view target here and now uh, after this we need to compile this. So here we are getting an error. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to take another node. So just click on tab and search for get player controller. here. So you need to select this option uh, get player controller and just we need to connect to this target and now again hit this compile. And also we need to click on this save and just we will close this blueprint. And now you see if you click on this play uh, it will start from the camera point of view. So just if I click on this play and see now it has been started from the camera point of view. And now if you want to create a screenshot so it's simple uh, so uh, now we need to go to this full screen view so i will press f11 and now suppose if i want this view as a screenshot we need to go to this three dots option and we have to click on this option called high resolution screenshot so just click on this and here you can increase the size of the screenshot so most probably you can put it up to like a two or three something suppose if you put more value it will just crash the engine so it depends on your system so like uh, default level put it to one and just you can click on this capture and now see it has been saved so just you can click on this and just you can open this image so now see it has been created a high resolution screenshot and suppose if you increase the value uh, so let's say if i put it to like two or something now if you click on this capture If you go here and you can see, uh, so this screenshot has more resolution, like it, it has been captured with a 4K. So you can see the dimensions here, it's like 13 MB, and here it's like full HD, and the size is 3 MB. So if you open this, and the now quality is more when compared to the previous one. So that's it for this video. See you in the next lesson.